Yes, sir. I'm curious for your opinion. Um, when I was studying anthropology, I was trying to write about uh, authenticity in oh. authenticity in uh, Eastern traditions in the West. And I came across a book which stated that in uh, the end of the 18th, 19th century, there was a kind of uh, movement among uh, Indian elites uh, to reinvent uh, old traditions uh, in relation to the English who had the Greek and uh, Latin traditions. Um, and they said that was that the, yeah, that the yoga from, uh, for example, the autobiography of a yogi from Yogananda. Yogananda, yeah, was really popular. And that this book and this way of thinking uh, came to existence in relation to the West and to their stories about the Greek. What do you think of this? Sir, if I communicate to you in my language, will you understand? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Depends on what your language is. <laughs> Which one you want it to be? <laughs> I have a, a kind of a grandma in Israel. She has adopted me as my as her Jewish grandson informally. So when I was visiting her some years ago, she took me to an old Orthodox Jewish uh, synagogue. And uh, I was very moved because it was a very beautiful place. So I said, no, it's okay if I do some chanting. But, but I only know Indian chanting. I don't know the Jewish chanting. So she said, good, I will ask the manager who was handling this synagogue. So she goes to the synagogue and she asks the manager, sir, my, my grandson wants to do some chanting. Is it okay? Or is he Jewish? Because the guy looked at me and of course she, he found out I'm not a direct grandson or whatever. Is he Jewish? And my grandma said, he can be. <laughs> <laughs> so which language you want to... <laughs> Going back to your question. This is always a problem of life. If we are attached to the form, we think we lose the authenticity. The thing now, especially. You know. What is so important is not the form, it's the function. It's not the form, it's the function. I will guarantee you there is not one person in the whole world today who can do the yoga postures, asanas, in the classical form. Not one person. But the function is more important. Most people can benefit from the function of the asanas. But the classical form, our bodies are different. We eat differently, we live differently, we are sitting on a chair, we don't walk so much, we are in cars, in, in, in your bikes. You know. We are not walking like the past. People were just walking everywhere. They were sitting on the floors, they didn't have chairs and tables. So their body was very differently made than what it is now, or at least very differently patterned than what it is now. So we can't have the same form. But function, yes. They were created for a function, not for a form. See, yoga is not a performing art. Yoga is a practical, experiential system. It's not for performance. It was not like dance or music. So it didn't, they were not very concerned about the form. They were always focusing on the function. So function, if it is authentic, that's the most important thing. Form, it's very difficult. So form is always dynamic actually. Form Depends has on to be dynamic. Yeah. Form, ha like I said, we are changing in our age when we are young. How we are now, it's different. So why should we stick to the same form? We have to stick to the same function. I mean, how many of us are wearing pants that go wide like in 1970s? The bell-bottom pants. And, you know, the different retro kind of design. How, we're not doing that. We're changing. Perhaps now we're going back some degree, but not necessarily that way. 
So it's, it's, the function is more important than form. If we lose that, then we lose the value of things. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Where are you from, sir? From Amsterdam. But your English sounded a little like mine. I'm really fast in adopting others' accents. I heard this more when I hang out with Russians. I start to speak a bit Russian. So I didn't do it on purpose. I thought you were trying to make fun of me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. I thank you also Gustav, Patrick, Farha for hosting this lecture. I thank you all for coming. And some of you uh, we see you later at six o'clock in the seminar.